Okay, before we start with the topic of today, we're going to watch a video. It's a review video about yesterday. If you remember, we start a new unit, unit number three. We talk about suffixes. What is a suffix class? Do you remember what is a suffix? No? No, I don't remember. No, thank you for being honest, Khaled. For example, the word spelling. Do you think the word spelling has a suffix? Yes. Yes? Yes. The sound C, D, and E, D. Excellent. We identified the sounds of the E, D, the suffix E, D. Remember, E, D has three sounds. It can be like T, D, or E, D, like I, D, right? So, like, you say ended, walked. Um, and we talk about suffix ed, and also we talk about suffix ing and s. You say walks. The suffix is the letter s. Walks. Yes. So suffix is a letter, two letters, three or more. It's a group of letters that they are at the end. They are attached at the end of the word. At the end, we have prefixes. Prefixes is the same, but they are at the beginning. So we're going to see this video, the difference between a prefix or suffix. So please pay attention to this video. I'm going to show you the sound so you can listen to this. Can you hear what fits before the root of a word, before the word is heard? That's a pretty video about prefixes and suffixes. This is a review video. <clears throat> As you can notice, the prefix is at the beginning, but in the suffixes, we have at the end of the word. So in the video was mentioned some examples. For example, this word, unlikely. What is the suffix? Remember, the suffix goes at the end. What is the suffix in this word? On. That is the prefix. And what is this? Suffix. Oh, Lee, yeah. that's right. Lee is a suffix. Lee is at the end. What about this other word? Let's see, we have another this one. What about this word? What is the suffix? Mant. 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 Right. Mant. The word is agree, the base word, but in this we have agreement or disagreement. Yeah, so we have a prefix this and a suffix mant. So this is a new word. We can say just agree. You can say agreement or disagreement. So look at this. This is the constructions of the words. Yes, the construction. Now, there was a, just a review. Today, we're going to continue talking about suffixes, but we're going to talk about the comparative form that we use ER, EST. This is an example of suffix ER. We have sometimes ER and EST, the suffixes. When we compare two themes, we use this. When we compare three themes or more, we use EST. So we already watched the video. Now let's 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 before working on a book, we're going to explain this, the comparative form of this suffix. Look at the first uh, chart that we have. We have comparative yeah. adjectives. Mm -hmm. We have one syllable, taller. Tall is one syllable. If you attach to plus ER, that is a suffix, you have a new word. You have the word taller. You have the word taller. And that word, it is used to compare two things. You can say, for example, I don't know. I don't know you, but I'm going to guess. Mm, maybe let's see. Mia Valentina, Mia Valentina, it's taller. It's taller than Rebecca Guillén. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, Quas. I don't know you. I'm just guessing. Mia Valentina is taller than Rebecca Guillen. I'm comparing two girls, right? So I use that comparative. I use taller. I'm comparing just two. Or I can say, for example, I'm not I'm not sure, but let's see. Joshua Aguilar, it's taller than uh than Santiago Hernandez. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's Joshua Aguilar is taller than Santiago Hernandez. It's true, Joshua, yes? Okay, so 
we're comparing just two boys. Or we have happy plus ER, which change the Y for letter I, and we say happier. So I can say Rosa Figueroa is happier than um, Camila, for example. It's happier than Camila. I'm comparing to girls. Or I can say, see, Jan is happier than, um, than Rebecca Guillen. See, Jan is happier than Rebecca Guillen. I'm comparing just two. I'm comparing just two. So look at this. We have long, longer, nice, nicer, hot, hotter. San Pedro Sula, it's hotter than Tegucigalpa. I'm comparing mm. to places. I'm comparing, it's true, it's hotter. Choloteca, uh -huh. it's hotter than Tegucigalpa. It's true, Choloteca, it's hotter than Tegucigalpa. I'm comparing just two, uh -huh. two things. Mm -hmm. Now, when you compare three, uh -huh. we use this other uh, suffix, EST, mm -hmm. the longest, the nicest, the hottest and the happiest. For example, mm -hmm. I can say Rebecca, Marcelo, Sillan, and Anna. Rebecca is the happiest of them. I'm comparing four, four people, and I'm saying that the happiest of these four is Rebecca. So I'm comparing four. So we use this EST when we compare four themes, three, four, five, or more. If I compare, mm -hmm. for example, San Pedro Sula, Choluteca, uh, Roatlan, and Tegucigalpa, and I says the hottest, which which of these four places is the hottest, class? What Which one is the hottest? San Pedro. San Pedro. And San Pedro. Okay, but just one. Let's see San Pedro Sula. San Pedro Sula is the hottest of them because I'm comparing four, but I'm saying that the hottest is San Pedro Sula or Choluteca. I'm choosing just one among these four. So we can compare the themes between two, we use the ER, and when we compare three, four, or more, you use the EST. Khaled Trashes, tell me. Tell me, Khaled. Sí, you saying that other que Rebecca is más caliente que San Pedro Sula. No, the happier, the happiest. No, the other, the other. Is the hotter. No, Choluteca. Very mistake, maybe. Now, jo uh, don't forget, ER is when you compare two things. EST, when you compare three, four, more, uh, or more, right? Now let's practice this. What what work in page 65? We have page 65. Everybody up in the book. We have one rule there. Lucia Alvarenga, tell me. You are going to help me to read the rule, Lucia. The rule and okay. examples. The suffix or uh, er is added to words to converse two things. The suffix est is added to words to compare more than two things. My jacket is warm. My school is warmer. My winter park is the warmest of all. Thank you so much. Look at here. We're comparing the jacket, the coat, and the winter park. So my jacket is warm. I'm not comparing. I'm just saying the sentence. My coat is warmer. In this case, it's warmer because I'm comparing my jacket and my coat. I'm comparing two things. But what about warm as a bowl? I'm comparing the jacket, the coat, and the winter parka. So that's why I say the warmest of all of them. I'm comparing three. Now, we're going to read this sentence and we're going to underline the word that he used. That use a suffix er and est. We're going to circle the word that used to compare three things or more. Now, sentence number one. Uh, Lucia, read sentence number one, Lucia. This winter went faster than last winter. Okay, which words were I going to circle, class, that we use to compare? Faster. Faster, faster that's right. Last. We're going to underline because we are just comparing the winter, this winter, this winter of this year with the last winter. We're comparing just two, right? Two things. So we're going to underline. 
Now, Joshua, read sentence number two, Joshua. It is because the weather was nicer. Mm -hmm. Which word were you going to circle or underline? Nicer. Nicer, that's right. Nicer, we're, going, we're comparing the winter, the last winter and this winter. So we say that the weather was nicer. We're comparing this weather with last weather. Okay, number three, Rebecca. Read sentence number three, Rebecca. We had, we had the warmest winter in the years. In 10 years. years. Mm -hmm. Which word we need to circle, class? Winter. No, winter, no. Year. No. Which word are you using to come? Warmest. 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 That's right, Danny. Warmest. Why warmest? This is the word that has a suffix ESP. E. Excellent. How do you know that this is warmest, the word I need to circle? Because we're comparing. We have the warmest winter in 10 oh. years. How many years you are comparing? You're comparing 10 years. So you are using the EST because you are comparing 10 years, not just two. You are comparing 10. Number four, Danny. Read number four, Danny. Temperatures were much higher than usual. Mm -hmm. Which word we need to underline? Higher. Higher, that's right. We're comparing just the two temperatures. Number five, see ya, number five. Some days were warmer than others. Mm -hmm. um, warmer. Warmer, that's right. We're comparing these days with other days. So we're using warmer. Let's see Kiara, number six, Kiara. Precipitation was light than usually. Mm -hmm. Light to lighter that's right excellent that is the word that we're using to compare the precipitation of this right now with the last precipitation isabella number seven last last year the winter one was stronger mm -hmm. um winter no, winter, it's not the word that we used to compare Stronger. Them. Stronger, that's right. You are comparing this winter with last winter. So you compare this winter with last winter, you say that it's stronger. Rosa, number eight, Rosa. That win was the will I have worked since. Mm -hmm. Which word we're going to circle? With? No, it has to have, it has to yes. have EST, uh -huh, wildest or ER. So the wildest you are comparing, because you are comparing, I have ever seen, maybe it can be three, four, or depends the age that the person has. Now, number 10, number 10, Marcelo, read number 10, Marcelo, number nine, sorry. It broke the lowest temperatures ever. Which word we have to circle? Temperature. No, temperatures, no. ES. EST, we're looking at the word that has the EST. Ah. Lowest, lowest. Lowest, that's right. We're comparing the temperature Amount of years, so lowest, that's right. So don't forget, we need to take care. For example, winter, it has ER, but we're not using winter to compare. That word is not a word to compare, but it's stronger, yes. Temperature, it has ES, but we are looking at the word that has EST, and temperature is not a word that we use to compare. So we need to take care of this. Now, we're going to add the suffix er and st to it for a new word. You're going to do by yourself, work by yourself. What you have to do? Clear plus er. What is a new word, class? Clear. Clear. That's right. And you have clear plus est. What is a new word? Clear. Clearest is clear. what you have to do for all these words. I'm going to oh, give I you finish. You finished? Yes. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes to finish by yourself. If you have a question, tell me. 
I'm finished. You finished? Okay. If you finish, try to work page 66. Also, we're going to work in that page. Start reading by yourself. That's the next page if you finish. Rebecca, how's it going to be this one? Dark with ER. How do you pronounce the word with that suffix ER? Dark. 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 And the next word here with the EST? Darkest. Darkest. Excellent. The next one, Rebecca, you're going to help me with this. Lower. Mm -hmm. Lowest. Try on. Younger. Youngest. Youngest. Short. Short. Shortest. Shorter. And Short. Shortest. Shortest. That's right. Bright. Brighter. Brighter. Brighter and biased. Brightest. Excellent. Narrow. Na narrower. 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 And now west. Smooth. It's smoother. Mm -hmm. And as smoothest. That's right. Dull. Dollar. Mm -hmm. And, and dullest. Dullest. That's right. And the last one that is row. Rowest. Rower. Mm -hmm. And rowest. Excellent. That's what you have to do in this case just to attach excellent Rebecca the ER and the EST, right? You finished to work on that? No, Miss, I didn't finish. No, one more minute, one more minute to finish. We almost finished. You almost okay. I finished and I made I you finish. I finished. That's the age 66. Okay, see, so excellent. If you finished, work like Sian in page 66 by yourself. Try to write by yourself. I finished. 66. Okay. Miss, y vamos a trabajar en la página 67. 66. 67, yes, maybe next week. Maybe next week. Ya, ya terminamos con la 66. Yes, that is the last page that we're going to work today, 66. No. Yes. Okay, I'm going to change this line. I'm going to change. Remember that that part is to attach um, ER or EST at the end. You need to write ER or EST at the end. Now, in I page 66, we have to read the sentence, page 66, read the sentence. And you have to add ER or EST to the word in parentheses. You have words in parentheses to complete the sentence with the correct comparative form. Write a new word on the line. For example, number one. What it says, word number one. It says, in the second page. We have the greatest class of all. That's right. We have the greatest because you have great uh, parentheses and you have to attach. EST, why EST class? The greatest, why EST? We are comparing all the classes. So you're comparing three or more classes. So EST. So is the runner in the class, in the faster, fastest. Fastest runner, why fastest? You are comparing Joe. How many are in the class, class? You are 21. You are comparing Joe. Among all of you, you are 21. So you, since we're comparing Joe among all of us, that we are 21, so it's fastest because it's not just between two, it's among 21, the comparison. Faster. What about number three? E.T. Faster. Evan, 
than running, but there. Faster, that's right, Caleb. Faster, in this case it's faster because you're comparing just this boy with running. Running, it's another boy. You're comparing just two boys, so you use faster for that reason. Actually. Yes, if you're comparing so just between two, that's right. If you compare one person amount three, four more, you use fastest. That's right. Now, Pamela gets the grades of all. Pamela, we're comparing Pamela with all of you. Highest. Highest, that's right. You're comparing highest. Pamela amount all of you that you are 21, so it's highest. Highest. She has the writing in the class. We're comparing Pamela with all the class. Next is Yes, that's right. Excellent. Need it because we're comparing this girl with all the class, with all the class. I'm the student in the school. Tell the school. Taller or tallest? Tallest. Tallest. Why tallest, Khaled? But Yes, it's tallest. That's you are comparing. You are comparing yourself with all the school. How many students are in the school? It can be hundreds, two hundred, one thousand students at Nashville School, right? So we're comparing yourself, Khaled. It's comparing itself with all the students. So we use tallest for that reason. Number seven. Even Mr. Steven is the them am. I'm comparing Mr. Stevens with myself, just two. So what is shorter. the word? Shorter. Sorry. Shorter, because I'm comparing just Mr. Stevens with you. So we are comparing just between two persons. Okay, number eight, Mr. Steven is then your teacher. Yes. Funny, funnier or funnier? Funnier. funnier. Funnier, why funnier? You're comparing Mr. Steven with the another t-shirt. How many t-shirts you're comparing? Two t-shirts. That's right, uh, Kiara. You're comparing just two t-shirts. Mr. Steven and the other t-shirt. Maybe it can be a French t-shirt. We don't know. So it's funnier because you're comparing just two. <laughs> just two t-shirts. Number nine. Isabella, tell me, Isabella. I know the number nine. Tell me, what is the answer? He tells the funniest jokes I ever heard. Excellent. Funniest. Because you're comparing all the jokes that you have listened in all your life. And what is number 10? Who knows number 10? I always love the uh, old. Love. 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 That's right. Because you're comparing all of them. When you see this keyword of old, it means that you're going to use the EST because you see a pole. Yes. Okay, in the second part, in the second part that we have here, it's to write sentences that tells about the idea listed below. Use a comparative form. We're going to write sentences using this. Write sentences. For example, number one, it's already done for you. The age of two people. We're comparing the age of two people. So we say, Sam is older than Gretchen. I can say, for example, um, Khaled, let's use Khaled. Khaled is younger. It's younger than <laughs> Mr. Let me tell me the name of one mystery that you have. Mr. Mar Mar Sharon. Mr. Marcio. Mr. Marcio. Mr. Marcio. Okay, Marcio. Mr. Marcio. Khaled is younger than Mr. Marcio. So I'm comparing the age of two people. I'm comparing the age of Khaled and Mr. Marcio. I'm telling you that you are younger. Es menor que Mr. Marcio. Khaled is más joven que Mr. Marcio. That is in Spanish. Yes. Now let's compare the height of the of three trees. Yes, you are going to write sentences. Now let's compare three trees. We're going to compare three trees now. How can we write one sentence? I'm going to use another color. 
for example, this is the tallest, tallest tree. This is the tallest tree of the tree. What I'm saying here, class, I'm comparing three trees. So I'm saying that the tallest one, it can be, for example, the lemon tree. The lemon tree is the tallest of all. I can write another sentence like that. The lemon tree is the tallest, is the biggest, is the tallest of all. You can write this sentence as, as an example. What about the size of two boxes? We're comparing the size of those two boxes. Means we have to write that two sentences into it. You can L. write just one. Just write one sentence, at least one sentence. If we are comparing two boxes, for example, let's compare two boxes. Mm, we're comparing the box that you receive when you buy a pizza. How is that the box? Comparing that box with the one that you have when you buy, mm, I don't know, maybe chicken or maybe, no, French fries. When you buy French fries, do you have a little box, right? And when you buy a pizza, it's bigger. So how can we compare these two boxes, class? The pizza box is how it's bigger or shorter than the french fries sure. so bigger. it's bigger so i'm saying that fix the box the pizza box the, pick the box of the pizza it's bigger than I tell you the French fry, right? The French fries that like you when you buy French fries, you have a little box. Papita fritas. If the box it's 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 smaller, so I say the pizza yeah. box is bigger yeah. than French fries box. It's smaller. French fries box. I'm going to write box. Here. French fries box. Okay. Okay, what about number 14? Just to finish with number 14, it says the left or the three baseball bats. That is the last sentence that you are going to do by yourself because we don't have more time. We don't have more time. So number 14, try to make a sentence by yourself. You finish by yourself. So remember that we have, yes, that is all for today. Remember that we use ER when we compare two things, two people or two objects and ER, EST when you compare three or more. So we use this comparative form. Okay, once you finish, show me your books. Show me your books if you finish. I don't understand the 14. Number 14? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, in number 14, you are going to compare, you're going to use the EST to compare three baseball bats. You're going to compare, compare three baseball bats. How can you write a sentence? Mm, you can say, please buy, buy the... You're comparing three, so you can say by the longest baseball bat. That can be one example. You're comparing the three ball bats, baseball bats, but you want the longest one. You want the longest one, you know, the shortest one, or the shortest baseball bats. So you're making a comparison between the three among the three. Okay, bye bye. Let's finish here. Remember, in phonics, you have one homework I already uploaded, so you can start working. On that, it's remember to send the answers to your teacher through the email. Bye-bye, bye-bye. See you next uh, class. Bye. Bye-bye.